Hello and welcome to the first part in my video series on automating SharePoint Online using System Center Orchestrator. So before I take you through anything, I'll just quickly introduce myself. My name is Richard Green. I am a senior technical consultant for Imprint Consulting in the UK. You can follow me on Twitter at Richard J. Green or you can check out my blog at richardjgreen.net. In the first part of this video, I will talk you through some of the prerequisites that we're going to need in place to be able to use Orchestrator to connect to and control SharePoint Online. In the second part of the video, I will show you some of the workings of the activities and the run books that we're using in Orchestrator. And then in the third part of the video, I will walk you through setting up some of the components in System Center Service Manager to allow us to provide access to these run books through self-service. In the final part of the video, I'll show you the finished product, how a user can interact with this via Service Manager and self-service portal, and the end result site creation in SharePoint Online. So before I begin uh, taking you through uh, how all of this is configured, uh, we're going to cover some of the prerequisites that we're going to need to make this work. Now, there are a couple of different ways of orchestrating uh, SharePoint Online using System Center Orchestrator, one of which is using the System Center 2012 R2 orchestrator integration pack provided by Microsoft for SharePoint Online. Now, these are available on the download link, uh, which is on the screen right now, from the Microsoft Download Center, and I'll include the link for this in the details of the video. However, this orchestrator integration pack is quite limited in the scope of what we can do with it. Um, so, for the purposes of this setup and what we want to be able to achieve, we're not actually going to be using the provided orchestrator integration pack. What we're actually going to be using is the SharePoint Online Management Shell commandlets. Now, what these are, it's a series of uh, PowerShell commandlets for connecting to SharePoint Online. It uses PowerShell v3. Um, so we're going to be looking to use Server 2012 or Server 2012 R2 to do this. It's available in two different versions, it's 32-bit and 64-bit. Now, those of you familiar with Orchestrator will know that when Orchestrator executes a PowerShell script, it does that in a 32-bit context. So for this, we're going to need to have the 32-bit SharePoint online management shell command list installed and not the 64-bit ones. This is important to bear in mind because when you're testing your scripts, uh, if you're using the PowerShell IFE for, for testing your scripts out of Orchestrator before you then move them into, into that environment, you're going to need to make sure that you're using the correct version of the PowerShell IFE for 32-bit uh, because otherwise these command lists aren't going to be available so once you've downloaded the SharePoint Online Management Shell commandlets, we're going to need to install those onto the servers that are involved in our orchestrator deployment. Now that's going to need to include the, the server where you've got the Rumbook designer installed so that we can actually use the Rumbook tester to verify that the Rumbooks that we've created are, are going to work properly. And we're also going to need to ensure that this management shell is installed onto all of our runbook servers so that when this runbook is initiated from either the orchestration console or from service manager using uh, runbook automation templates, that it's going to be able to run on any of the runbook servers in our environment. Um, we wouldn't want to see the runbook failing because uh, the, the command that hadn't been installed on one of the servers. One other consideration that we need to take into account is the fact that SharePoint Online is a cloud service. 
it's something that's not inside your data center. So we're going to need to make sure that the service account that's being used to initiate the run books on your run book servers not only has access to the internet, but we also need to make sure that that account is going to be able to access the SharePoint Online services in Office 365. Thank you very much for watching the first part of the video. Uh, hopefully it's been informative for you so far. And please do check out the second and further parts to see how we are able to use Orchestrator to pull all of this together. If you like the video and you perhaps want more information or you'd like to find out how you can get something like this for yourself, then please feel free to get in contact with me um, either on Twitter at Richard J. Green. Uh, you can contact me using some of the methods on my blog, richardjgreen.net, or you can check out the Infront Consulting website, infrontconsulting.com, for more information about some of the services that we can offer. Thanks for watching.